Hello, Leos. This is you versus them for the 12th of the 18th. This is Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Let's see what's been going on for you guys. Maybe doing a little juggling, going out, trying to find a nice balance between your social life and your work life, I feel. Um, some of you guys may have been thinking about getting back out in a date and feel maybe offering um your emotions extending yourself to someone here um but i definitely get that before um you guys you know really had probably a hard time moving away from something okay but just here in the recent past you guys are getting back out there let's see what's going on with them um this person's being very defensive maybe this is you leo's being defensive about um, your situation in general, the way you feel about things, the way you see things, the way you think about things, and just kind of warding off people in general, okay? That is your energy right there. This energy can go vice versa, guys, so take it how it resonates, okay? We have Scorpio right here, all right? So um, the person that you're dealing with or thinking about feel is feeling very defensive, or, or that's the way you're feeling. Maybe they're waiting on you guys to make an appearance, okay? Kind of confused right now about what it is that they want even okay let's see what's coming what's keeping you guys apart here what's keeping you from them hmm maybe you're scared of this person as far as the way you feel about them um maybe there's some codependency here where you felt like maybe they were uh, a little too emotional maybe maybe this person is in love with love um and, and just kind of flooding you kind of overwhelming you a little bit but there's definitely something there that you do not like that this person does is what i'm feeling and this may be vice versa and it may go both ways as well there may be some things about you know each other that you guys definitely could not jive with like you know they had behaviors that you didn't like you had behaviors that they didn't like but nevertheless you guys are very attached to this person okay very attached to this person but i get that you're trying to get your mind off of this um connection by going out and really being focused on the things that you feel like are going to bring you happiness in your life okay let's keep, see what's keeping them from you what's keeping them from leo we have the lovers there maybe this person is really not trying to um acknowledge this connection Okay, maybe they're trying to fight their feelings for you, but there again, with the with the devil here and the lovers, there's a very strong connection between you and this person. Very strong. This is undeniable here, and I think somebody here is really just wanting to not be bothered with it, not deal with it whatsoever. Okay, this is Lei, Lei, Leo, Gemini energy here. Capricorn is here as well. Um, very strong here. Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. Trying to be happy. <laughs> I I feel you guys are just really trying to like get out of this negative energy and just start over. You know, try to feel in this way is what I'm getting from you. But yet. Yeah, excuse me yet and still feeling very burdened by this situation still very bothered okay very drained <clears throat> let's see what's currently going on for them but they have the knight of cups as well trying to go forward trying to move out, out of this negative energy this stalemate sort of energy but not moving towards each other out of the stalemate trying to divert your attention their attention somewhere else and i feel like both of you guys are doing this because they're again you guys are connected okay so whatever you're going through i feel they're going through something very similar okay guys <clears throat> what's influencing leo the ace of cups hmm love i feel like not only are you guys you know you're trying to do what makes you happy but i do feel like you guys are wanting to make an offer um to someone okay and i feel like you love this person but i don't know i don't think you're sure if they feel the same way at this point but there's definitely an offer um that is on your mind whether you're thinking about them offering to you or you offering to them but it's definitely in the air okay 
what's influencing them is a hanged man being stuck being stuck um, taking their hands off the wheel wanting to not try to steer fate okay because this person I feel like they know they know that you guys have this connection I think this person's very aware very aware and but I think they are at this point where they're they're trying to ignore it okay and maybe they're trying to ignore the love that they know you guys share trying not to show it trying not to offer it and just letting things just be this is just being you know not doing anything not having any input not making any offers um just kind of i feel like trying to walk away emotionally trying to leave their emotions behind where you are concerned okay Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. What's coming in for Leo's? The Will of Fortune. Change. Change. Okay. So this this energy of you guys feeling um, still very tied to this situation. Feeling um, bothered. Drained. I think that energy is trying to shift and change. Okay. I think you feel so very tied to this individual. But change is coming. Change is definitely coming in this situation. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for them? Strength. Hmm. You know, Leo's, what I'm getting here for this person is that you guys want to make an offer to this person. Somebody here wants to offer to the other one, whoever that is. Take it how it resonates. But there's definitely someone here that wants to offer something to the other one whether it's an apology whether it's forgiveness um, whether it's an offer to go on a talk whatever that means but it's an emotional offer okay for sure let's see what's blocking you guys here what's blocking Leo hmm I think you guys are trying to bury yourself in your work. Let's see. What's blocking you is not showing the interest. It's not showing the interest is what I'm getting for you guys. And then for some of you, it's actually this person I feel that you that is intimidating you guys to the point of um, you're not really sure if this person is going to be calm cool and collected I feel like they go off the deep end they like blow their top a lot maybe this person has some anger issues even where they spout off at the mouth you know a lot and erratically and you never know like when they're gonna let your ass have it and it's like you know I'm getting this energy of this person you don't know if they will be reasonable and listen to what you have to say or even accept your offer is what I'm getting from you okay let's see what's blocking them what's blocking them the page of Pentacles maybe their maturity maybe their maturity Maybe the fact that they're not willing to, you know, have any input. They're doing very little here with the hanged man. It's like they're just stuck just watching. They're observing. They're not doing much. They're hiding. You know, that's what they're doing. They're not making any moves. They're not willing to invest any time or energy into this situation. It's exactly what's blocking them. They're not investing. Um, I feel like the emotion, the emotions aren't there, you know. I mean, the the emotions are there, but they're not showing anything. Is the thing okay? 
the advice for you guys is stop worrying about this. Stop worrying about it. You know, um, if, if you feel like there's something that you want to do, do it. If you don't, don't. If you want to move on, move on. But I think this is you deciding what it is that you want and stop really thinking so hard and having these ruminating thoughts about things. If you want something, just do it. Just go for it. It's what I'm getting here. Stop worrying. Stop worrying how you feel like this person is going to react. Okay. Stop worrying. Let's see what their advice is. What is their advice? I see the three of cups there. Mm. I thought like this person just needs to be open. Let's see. The sign. Hmm. They need to be open. They need to um, open themselves up to happiness. Open themselves up to becoming aware of themselves even because I think they they are so very closed off blocked off here that they're they're blocking themselves basically and this is for them to open up some of them may need to go talk to their fathers or a father figure you know um, some of them need their confidence they need to build their confidence up but I'm, I'm getting strongly this person needs to open up and realize exactly who you are. Okay. But there is a lot of codependency here, I feel. A lot of toxic energy that has gone on between the two of you. Now, the thing is, neither one of you may be toxic by yourself. But sometimes, like when we get with people, if they're not for us for real, then, you know, some toxic situations can arise is a thing. And I think there's a, there's a need to kind of like, you know look at look at themselves and see you know how they trigger you or how you trigger them and kind of work through that energy okay so let's see what's coming in for you guys here what's coming in for leo's i feel like it's a gemini you guys are dealing with for a lot of you um pisces individual maybe scorpio um taurus Mm -hmm. Maybe another um, Leo like yourselves as well. Aries, Sagittarius energy. Capricorn is here. Okay. So let's see what the outcome is for you. Oh, okay. Cards falling out. All right. The moon. We have the sun and the moon. And these are opposing energies like but they're the same in a sense though okay because the moon is like having very deep feelings the moon is also um you know being able to see th things clearly the moon has different phases diff you know it changes okay and so i'm getting that you guys will see through um see the light and um see the truth in this situation some of you will actually, if, if in this Eight of Swords, you guys are actually thinking about telling this person how you really feel, I feel that's what you're doing here with the moon. I feel you guys opening up. I feel you seeing the truth. Okay? And I kind of feel like you're going back and forth with this. In the meantime, you go in and out of, um, you know, your moods here. But I definitely see you guys opening up at some point. Okay, let's see what their outcome is here. And some of you may need to talk to your mothers. Don't know. All right, so what is their outcome here? The Seven of Swords. Doing what they feel is right for them, but they know in doing that that they have wronged someone. This is like getting away with something here. And I feel stronger that this person knows that they can be happy with you. They know they can be happy with you. This is what's so weird about this energy. Because they're fighting it. They're blocking it. And I feel like 
even though they probably this person probably hid a lot of things from you guys they hid a lot of things from you guys or even you guys hid a lot of things from them hmm yeah they don't want to look at themselves here it's too hard for this person to to look at themselves in a mirror is what I'm getting here it's too hard it's easier to blame someone else here it's easier to blame someone else here but they're they're definitely doing regardless of anybody else's feelings what's right for them what they feel like is right for them but I get that they're doing this like it's a st very stubborn energy is what I'm feeling coming from this person very stubborn here okay so we have Aquarius um, I think I told you all of the other signs guys um, I feel strongly you guys are dealing with a Gemini um, Aquarius individual cancers here maybe another Leo like I said um, Scorpio maybe here Capricorn yeah this is like self-sabotaging energy is what I'm feeling coming from this okay guys so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you soon